Hello everyone, it's Katarina and welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I am the Narcoleptic Planner here on YouTube and on Instagram, and if you love all things planning, totally subscribe to the channel, like this video, and tap the bell so you never miss any of my uploads. Today I have a haul for September. Um, it's the first part, so I'm not sure if I'm going to upload this as a video like on its own or if I'm going to upload one longer video at the end of September. I haven't really decided yet. I'm thinking that I'm going to just upload this video on its own. That way I can have, you know, more uploads go up on my channel. And also I do have wax melts at the end of this, but like I just said, I will leave everything towards the end in case you are not interested in that which is totally cool. And I will first dive into all the stickers and I also have some fun scrunchies from Fox and Cactus, so. And I have a really fun foil swatch thing from Alicia Craft, which I'm probably the most excited about. <laughs> I mean, I'm excited about all of these things, but I'm very, very excited about that and I've already used it. And October is just, it's just going to be really fun and amazing, so. Anyway, I have Alicia Craft, like I said. I do have Pink Diamond Planner Co. here. I do have the September Mystery, so I will probably talk about this um, towards the end in case you don't want to see that. And then I have Happy Sticker Designs, Fox and Cactus, like I said. And then I do have Caress Press here. I also have the September Mystery from Caress Press, so... I'll probably go like Fox and Cactus, Happy Sticker Designs, Alicia Craft, Pink Diamond Planner Co., and then Caress Press, and then my wax melts in that order. So trying to get the mysteries towards the end of the video in case you do not want to see those for some reason. But that is it for the intro. I am going to move all of this to the side and then jump into my order here from Fox and Cactus. All right, so. I'm so excited about these. I've never purchased scrunchies from Fox and Cactus before, and I normally don't wear scrunchies, but I just thought these were adorable, and I just really wanted them, so. And I also bought um, um, another Halloween scrunchie from a different shop, which I'll probably show in my part two of my September haul, so you can see that in a little bit. But here is the first one. I believe she had two types of fabric. Um, I don't remember what, the, it feels like satin but I could be wrong, so don't quote me on that. But this just has like little pumpkins and little bats and skulls and it's pretty stretchy, so that's cool. Cause I have a lot of hair. My hair is very thick, so <laughs> all the stretch, you know, the more the stretch, the better, basically. So here's my first one. I'm so excited to start wearing that one. And then this one um, also kind of has the same thing, but it has little bats and ghosts and it's pink and purple here which is so cute again very stretchy so very excited about those and then this was my order hold on also sorry my desk is dirty which i don't even know if you can see but this is the card that it came with so cute i love this so much i kind of wish like i get why they put this stuff on here but i kind of wish this were like a postcard so that i could write like an address here and then send it to somebody because this is so cute but I still love it either way um and then I did get this freebie I believe I ordered this in August so I think this is the August oh yeah it says August 2022 here so I'm gonna save this for when um I turn 28 basically for my birthday next year I don't know after like after I turned 22 I was like I don't know how old I am anymore <laughs> It just kind of blurs together. So these are all really fun. I really want to use this for my birthday to mark my birthday next year. So love that. So jumping into these stickers that I have, let me zoom in a tiny bit. So I have these um, little Lush pots here since I've been really into Lush lately and I just like want all the things from there. So I bought this one and then I bought the smaller ones as well just because I liked, I don't know, I liked both of the sizes. And then I got the Emoji Girls. I believe this is Daisy. I don't know the names. Either Daisy or Poppy. I don't know. It's one of those. So I have this one. 
this one is just, I feel like it needs like no introduction really. It's just <laughs> to mark when you're really mad or annoyed, which I'm going to use that to mark when I'm annoyed. And then I do have the Pilates one since I've been trying to get back into it. Even though lately I have not been doing a good job, but I like that these are like Pilates specific versus like yoga ones, which I mean, they are kind of similar, but I like this, like all of these are very Pilates specific. And then I just have the yoga ones as well because I like to do both. And last but not least, I have these side eye girls, which again, I feel like I'm just gonna use these to mark when I'm annoyed. So that is my order from Fox and Cactus. I haven't ordered from them in a while because I generally like to make like a larger purchase. This is pretty light for me, but I do have these really cute scrunchies though. And I really wanted to get my order in before they sold out. So that is my first order for this haul. And next let's dive into happy sticker design. So I might have to zoom. Nope, wrong way. I had to zoom back out. So this is just so adorable. And I like keeping these because I already have the Elsa one, I believe. And this is just so cute. And then on the back, it just has the um, shop information and stuff. But uh, I love this so much. Um, I did get this freebie again, just because I just really like it and it's Disney related. So I feel like you can never have too many Disney related things. So this is in gold foil. And then again, um, this is the pen test. And then this was the August freebie. So I ordered this, I, I don't know if it was during a sale. It, it was like, um, she was having free shipping and I was like, I am excited about that. So I think these are freebies, which is really awesome. I don't remember adding, I don't remember adding this. I might've added this. I don't know for sure though, but it just has a bunch of fall quotes. I believe it's also in um, gold hollow. I can't really tell, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And then this is so fun. Um, this is just a 15 millimeter washi in this really cool, like, it's like, it looks like a blue prism kind of thing, kind of foil. So that's really cool. Oh, I thought somebody texted me, but my phone is over there. That's weird. Okay. Anyway, I basically just got a bunch of underlays and this is foiled really nicely as you can see uh, to pair with some kits that I have coming up in my lineup. So maybe I'll pull them out, hold on. I have all of my um, kits planned for the next like couple months in my desk. So um, let me see here. So for the week of September 5th through the 11th, I already did my kit lineup, but I wanted to show you the foil that I wanted to pair it with. So I have this kit from Caress Press and I'm going to be using these gold plaid underlays. Oh, the ring doorbell drives me nuts. Like It's like always going off when I'm filming. And then it's like quiet the rest of the day. I'm like, dude, okay. Um, this kind of has like a little bit of like a plaid pattern in the artwork here so I thought this would be really fun to pair with that so that's my first one and hold on probably should have pulled this ahead of time but I didn't so and now I'll go back in the sleeve that's fine and then for um a kit that I'm going to use in hollow um in Halloween in October what am I doing I guess you kind of get a sneak peek of my October lineup because I have the labels on it. But I have this kit from Sticker Guru and I'm going to use these spider web underlays to kind of go with this vibe. Um, I also ordered a bunch of stuff from Alicia Craft to go with like all of these kits and I forgot that I purchased these so now I have extra. So I might mix and match them which you'll see whenever I get that stuff in and whenever I haul it. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna combine them because I totally forgot that I purchased all this stuff because that's just who I am as a person. And my husband like tells me all the time how I like need to check before I order stuff, like so that I don't end up having extras of a lot of things, which I just have a pattern of doing. So yeah, but anyway, that's gonna be for this kit. And then um, I do have this one in rose gold, which is the fall fairy tale. Um, one, so here are the full boxes. And then I picked these up separately. These are the leaves, but I thought they went pretty well 
And then this is just the um, header and washi page. And for this kit, I accidentally ordered a foil binder from Alicia Craft as well. So I'm gonna have to combine them. But uh, where are you? Oh, I guess you get a sneak in my November lineup too. I'm gonna be using this. So I thought this was like literally perfect. So like I've literally planned my lineup until like November 21st or whatever that week is. So I am very prepared, which I'm very excited about. So um, that is everything I got from Happy Sticker Designs. So definitely check out her shop if you haven't before. Now she has tracked shipping from Germany, which is really cool. And I liked watching it kind of go through its shipping journey basically. But um, that is that one. And then I do have, uh, hold on, actually I'm gonna pull all of this stuff out of the cellos and then I will be right back. All right, next we have Alicia Craft and I have a bunch of foiled items like, I guess these are more like functional stuff. Um, I don't really have any foil bundles in this one, although I did place like two different orders with a bunch of foil bundles and she's having her birthday sale this weekend. So you know I'm gonna be buying some more stuff cause I just love Alicia Craft a lot. So yes, so anyway, I do have this uh, foil swatch kind of like booklet thing and it literally has like a million foils in it. like. A million and obviously I'm not gonna flip through every single one of them but this has been extremely extremely helpful uh, when it comes to figuring out what foil I want to pair with my kit so I'm very very happy to have this I've already been using it um, it kind of like I don't know sometimes there are like two or three foil colors that I'm thinking about using and I'm, I don't know, it just gets a little tough sometimes, but I really love this, it's so helpful. So I don't know if she still has these or not, but I, once she released them, I was like, I need to get one. Like there's no, there's not even a question about it. So uh, let's see, okay. So let me put that aside and I will zoom in a tiny bit here. So the freebies, there are a lot. Okay, so this is the regular freebie. I believe this is matte bronze. It's just kind of like little decorative pieces. And then is this like an outline? I've never actually peeled this. Up. Oh yeah, it's like a little outline of a box. Cool. So I think this is matte bronze. That's what it looks like to me. And I love getting these freebies because I like pulling them into my spread. So this is a really fun purple color. And then I did use a PR code. I feel like in my hauls, I tend to say I used a PR freebie. Like, no, I used a PR code to get the PR freebie. So I have this one in silver. And then this was the summer freebie, which I believe now I switched up to the fall one. And I have this one in hollow. And then for my order, I just got a bunch of like, honestly, it's like kind of random stuff. So See back up. So the first thing I have are the tall box confetti overlays in silver. I have it in light gold and then also in matte bronze. And then um, since I am going to Disney in a little bit, I bought these magic scripts. So it just has like a bunch of fun Disney related things here. And then, oh, I have it in silver, light gold, and then in hollow. And then I don't know if I will end up using these a lot. That is my intention, but I don't know. Like I've used check marks in the past in my habit trackers, but sometimes they're a little bit too big depending on like the habit tracker of, of like the shop or kit you're using. So I'm gonna have to see if I'm going to use these often. They look pretty small though, so I think it should be fine. But um, I have this in matte bronze hollow, rose gold, silver, and then light gold. And then I have these um, flag overlays since I do like using these in my sidebar. And whenever kids have the flags in the kit, or whenever kids have the flags in them, I don't know what I'm saying. I just took a quiz and I feel like I haven't recovered from it yet. So sorry, but I do have these in hollow. 
uh, rose gold, silver, and then light gold. So that was my order. And then I did put oops in the notes to seller. She told me that she didn't have any oops that were like related to my order, which is totally fine. I, I This is like all like, this is just free. Like, wow, I am so very thankful. So the first thing we have here are just these little tiny deco bits, which is really cool. So this looks like it's in light gold. And this is like a gold glitter, I guess. And then I have more ice cream underlays, which is really fun. So I think these are the sprinkle ones in light gold. And then this is a pink of some kind. I'd have to look in the swatch book to see specifically which one, but that's really fun. So honestly, I don't see what's wrong with these. No, I don't see what's wrong with these ones either. These ones, it's more obvious, like here you can see that there's like a black spot there, but yeah. And then on top of that, we have this, um, it's not like a full bundle, but it's just like underlays and some overlays. So this is in that gold glitter. I don't know what the official name of it is. It might be gold glitter, I don't know, but. I don't have anything in this like confetti pattern from Alicia Craft, so I'm really excited about this. And I also don't have anything in this foil color. So you have like two different tall box options and then some other boxes here. And then you get the underlays, which I love this so much. It's so fun. And this is also in that same like gold glitter pattern. I wanna check, is it called gold glitter? I don't know if it'll be here. Or is it champagne lights? I have no idea. I guess it's called champagne lights. Cool. All right, well, that is my order from Alicia Craft. I expect to see more coming soon because at this point I would have like three orders on the way. <laughs> so by the next time I film my haul. All right, next we have Pink Diamond Planner Co. So I'll leave the kit until the end of this portion. So let me put that aside with the foil bundle and the light sample. Okay. So for this first order that I have here, I pretty much only have foil and the kits are coming later. So I got an additional matte bronze foil bundle from Pink Diamond Planner Co. And you can use my code CAT15 to save, by the way, and to get my foiled freebie. Um, this was from the August Mystery, I believe, and it's matte bronze. So I was like, I'm just, I'm just gonna need another one, obviously. So I showed this in my last haul, but I'll flip through it again in case you didn't see that. So you just have all of the usual pages here. And then uh, I have a ton of I'll move this out of frame. I have a ton of the vinyl matte label samplers because I just really like pulling these in when I use kits that don't come with a lot of labels. So I have five of the silver ones, which I used this for my last plan with me. And I used like almost two sheets, so I wanted to stock up again. So I have five of the silver. I have five of these, uh, I think it's called like Hollow Wave. It was from the July mystery or the June one. I don't remember, but this one's really pretty. It's just a good like hollow to have. And I got 10 of the matte bronze cause like, why not? I feel like I probably didn't need 10 of the matte bronze, but I don't know. I just really like this. So that is my order or one of my orders. And then I have the mystery coming up. So again, if you don't want to see it, click forward a little bit, but here it is. I'll go over the foil first. So this kit came with, this looks like very much hot gold, which I haven't used hot gold in quite a while. And when I first started getting into foil, I was like hot gold or bust or nothing else really. I was just like in love with hot gold. Now I'm more of like a light gold kind of person, but yeah. So um, you have this label sampler, which I'm probably gonna be picking up a bunch of these cause why not? And then the foil bundle I believe is the same format. Yes. 
And then here's the kit. So this is the foil that will go with it. I don't think I'm going to use gold as my like main foil color. I don't know. I, I'll pull in like gold scripts and things like that. But I'm thinking, and let me pull out my swatch book before we even dive into this. I think I'm gonna purchase the like Thanksgiving foil bundle from Alicia Craft this weekend because I think that would go well and then have it in, where the heck is the copper? In copper, hold on, I'm struggling. So I think this and this would go really well together. I also think she has a light brown and like, I think this would also like go really well with it too. And then she also has a bronze, which I also think would go with it. And let's see, I think you could do matte bronze too, actually. I'm really stuck between the light brown and the copper. And I've been thinking about it and I asked my husband too, like his opinion, not that he really cares, but. <laughs> So yeah, I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below if you think I should do copper for this or do light brown. I mean, they're like kind of similar, but I can't decide. Probably gonna go with copper though, but let me know in the comments down below which one you think I should go with based on what you see here. So again, this is the September mystery. Here are the doodles and I just think, oh, spoiler alert, I'm gonna be using this for the week of Thanksgiving because I don't want to use like a in-your-face Thanksgiving kit to be honest But this has like elements that kind of remind me of it like this pie and these like cinnamon rolls and It's still basically like just a nice fall kit. So I am going to be using that one. So here are your full boxes uh, Your deco page. I like that these boxes are smaller and I'm really excited to use this new format I don't know if these are donuts or if they're, I think they're donuts, but they kind of could like pass for bagels too. But they're like macarons here. So I'm guessing it's like sweet stuff. So maybe it's donuts, but maybe they're donuts. I don't know. Anyway, here's your glitter header page. Um, some more boxes and sidebar stuff. Your solid labels, patterned labels, your washi page. And then this is the 15 millimeter. And like Darcy, it just she just kills it. I want this outfit, and I wish I looked that stylish, but I just wear t-shirts all the time, so I have no style. But I, I this is what I would like strive for, I guess. So you have this page, you have your extra scene, extra color, and then you get your extra tall box, which is beautiful, and all of this extra color goodness right here. So. That is the September mystery. I believe the overstock, I don't know if the overstock is on her site or not, but definitely either pick it up or consider subscribing, honestly, because again, I love this. And this whole entire year, I haven't disliked any of the mysteries. Like I say, every time I haul a mystery kit, but um, so that is everything from Pink Diamond Planer Co. I am going to pause and take my caress press stuff out of the cellos and then I'll be right back. All right, so here is the caress press portion of this haul. Um, the first thing I do have here is my planner insert cover for October and I just loved this little skeleton over here. So I really wanted to use that one. I do also have this, um, art and a kit from Crest Press as well. So that is my insert cover. And then um, these were the freebies. So I'll zoom back in and they're upside down. So this one is like a very Japanese and I'm not even in frame, geez. Okay, sorry. <laughs> this is a very like Japanese inspired like uh, full box situation. And I kind of wish I had this for when I used that mystery i uh, used it for the olympics for last year i believe for the summer olympics i think so uh, i think that would have been really good to pair with it and then this one's upside down this is just like i don't know are these leaves they kind of look like yeah i guess they're leaves 
Okay, yeah, and this is like more of like a fall uh, foiled freebie there. And then I did pick up this foil bundle, which is uh, like a coffee themed in matte bronze. Um, I don't have actually any coffee related kits at the moment. So I don't have any like particular reason to use this, but I think this would be nice to like pair with like a fall kit maybe that like might have like a coffee cup in it or something or like a hot beverage in it. So I'm gonna hold on to this one, but this is in the older format of her foil bundles, but I just wanted more matte bronze, let's be honest. All right, and then I have the September 2022 mystery. So if you don't wanna see that and you don't wanna see wax melts, then Thank you so much for stopping by. But here is the kit. So I am not subscribed to the Caress Press Mystery anymore because I just accumulated way too many kits that I could just not use like in a timely manner. So I did pick this one up. Um, it's really, really cute. It's called Wanderlust and it's just like a travel theme um, with like some nods to Europe here, which, you know, it, doesn't have to be, but there's like a little travel guide that says Italy here. And I picked this up because next year I am actually going to Europe for the first time, which I'm really excited about. And one of the places I'm going is um, Italy. So I don't know what happened to my voice there, but um, so I picked this up. I'm going in the springtime. So I think these colors would be really nice for that. And I got this in the... I normally get these essentials, but I think I got it in the full kit format for this one, just in case um, I had to mark like a lot of things and it has more little things in here. So here is your deco page. I love the colors, um, your like functional page, your pattern labels, solid labels, little things, and then your uh, 15 millimeter here with your extra box. And then you have glitter headers and more little things. And then you have um, the like tall box and extra fashion box page. Um, I, ac I actually, excuse me, also picked this one up. Although I feel like I really didn't need to because that box is here too. And I would have been fine using that one, but whatever, that's fine. So I have that, and then this is the freebie that came with it, and then this is the foil bundle that comes with it. It's, I think she said it's called like steel blue on the website, but it's really cute and matches like the colors of the kit. And this is in the glimmer format. So this is the more updated version, which I really, really like. And that's your bottom washi page. I'll probably try to pull in some more like travel related foil bits just because I am going to be traveling, like I said. So that is everything I have for Caress Press here. So next I am going to move on to my wax melts and I only have wax melts from one shop. So um, it's not gonna be like, I say it's not gonna be super long, but like, I don't know, because I have a lot, like I have two, boxes so if you're not interested in that totally cool thank you so much for hanging out with me and watching my september haul part one uh don't forget to subscribe and like before you go but um if you do want to see what i purchased for my wax melts then please stay tuned i will go grab those and be right back all right i lied i randomly found this order just now and i was like i might as well just haul it because i'm here so um, I have another order from Crest Press. Uh, I do have this same freebie there. And then I just got a bunch of whole reinforcers in the foil colors that she does have. So I think she only has like sparkly hollow or hollow and then gold left in her shop. So I just got like as many as I could that were available basically. They're kind of hard to see. These ones are like easy to see. And then I got three of this foil bundle because why not? Um, it's just the maple one and it's in this like orangey color. I don't know specifically like what it's called, but I'm just gonna flip through this quickly just so you can see. And those are your underlays, but yeah. That is everything I have from Caress Press for real this time. So um, now jumping into the wax melts. Okay, so this is part one 
of my wax melts. I have another huge box sitting next to me here. So, um, I'm not going to like take the time to smell all of these and do all that kind of stuff just because I don't want to be here for ever and ever and ever. But I did just want to showcase, um, Miranda's melts, which is on Etsy. I don't actually know how I found her shop. I'm honestly might've been on Instagram, which is cool for, um, uh, it's cool of Instagram to suggest that to me. So, um, these are all soy wax melts, which I am very excited about. Um, I mentioned this before, but I'm only going to be melting soy wax melts from now on instead of like other, other kinds. Um, so I just wanted to showcase her shop on my YouTube channel. I've um, shown it on my Instagram, but just wanted to show it here too because her wax melts are probably my favorite right now. Um, and she has so many scents on her website and stuff. So, and she has collections that come out every two weeks, I believe. So I did just kind of want to show you what I have here and um, describe the scents based on what's written on Etsy. Um, her labels don't have like the description on it. So I would have to look up on Etsy to tell you like all of the notes and stuff like that, just because I threw out my invoices, which is kind of dumb because it lists it on there. I think think at least I th did she give me voices I don't remember but anyway so um let's see I kind of I'll, I'll try to put them like with the collection that they came from although I do have like a lot of random random ones here all right this is the fruit stand one okay so the first thing I have here I'll try to zoom in and bring it in as I go. So this is pumpkin pie, and I'm assuming it's just pumpkin pie, but let me see. Uh, pumpkin pie, yeah, I think it's just straight up pumpkin pie, so that's cool. And then we have a trick or treats, which I believe is, I really should have like better prepared, but let's see, trick or treats. It's, this is toasted marshmallow. So. The first one that I have from the fruit stand collection is the key lime pie one. So let me look that one up. I really should have like printed this or something. I don't know, but whatever. So this is key lime pie. So it's lime meringue and then pie crust. And I'm going to get glitter all over my desk, but this is what it looks like. And I love key lime pie. Like in real life, I make, I actually make it for Thanksgiving, even though that's not like a traditional Thanksgiving food or whatever. Who's to say that? I don't know. But yeah, I am like obsessed with key lime pie. So I got three of these. And then as part of the fruit stand collection, this is called fruit salad. Let's see. Fruit salad. This is citrus, pineapple, and guava. So I'll just show you what this looks like. Really fun. All of like the toppings that she puts on her wax melts are really fun. So that is the fruit stand collection. And then I got another one of this one, which is the uh, Pac-Man one. She had like a Pac-Man collection. So this one is honey buttered rolls and this smells so good. Like I have like a couple of these and they just smell amazing. So that is that one, if I could close it. And then I have one from the Scooby-Doo collection, which is called Ruh-Ro. And this is Lemon Pound Cake. So that's what that looks like. And then I think the Mermaid collection is one of my favorites, to be honest. So I think some of these might be sold out on her Etsy, so I might not be able to like tell you all of them. Let's start with Shellabrate. This is my favorite one. This is melon, is this my favorite one? Melon, pineapple, and coconut cream. Yeah, this is my favorite one. So that's that one. And then the Fantastic, I believe is cucumber. Oops. Cucumber and melon. And this one's really pretty and it smells amazing. And then we have Fancy, which is 
coconut, mango, and citrus. So that is the mermaid collection. Sorry, next time I'll like keep my invoice if there is one. And then I have the Lilo and Stitch one. I have two of the same one called Scrump, which I don't know what that means, but it's probably a detail in the movie that I just like don't know about. So this is Hawaiian flowers, sandalwood, and vanilla musk, and that's what it looks like. So I have two of those because that one smells really good. And then I have the, oh, this was also from the fruit stand, sorry. My bad. Let's see, fruit stand. This is the creamsicle, so this is orange, citrus, and vanilla. Oops. And then I have the Mickey pretzel. This is from the Mickey Treats collection. I'm assuming this just smells like pretzels. Let's see the description. It's, yeah, it's just buttery pretzel. That's what it looks like. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. And then last but not least, I have Luck of the Irish. And I think, I don't know if this one, yeah, this one sold out on her site. So I think this is just like Irish cream and maybe some vanilla or something. That smells really good. It smells like a milkshake. I love that. Okay, so that is the first, whoops, part of my haul or my wax melt haul. And then the next one is like kind of insane. So let me, let me just, this is the box that it came in so I'm going to just pull them out from here sorry okay so let's see we have Charlie Brown move all this out of the way because it's taking up a lot of space and then I have more also I have another fancy one like from the mermaid collection so just wanted to point that out and then we have the Charlie Brown one these were my overstock. Also, I have another Shellabray one because, again, that one smells amazing. And then I think these were part of that collection. Sorry, I probably should have organized myself a bit beforehand. Um, Charlie Brown. Another Charlie Brown. This is the Lilo and Stitch one, Scooby-Doo, Lilo and Stitch, and then Pac-Man and Scooby-Doo. Okay, where's the Marie one? Oh, here it is, okay. I, I purchased an overstock grab bag too, so. All right, so these were, these scents that I got. So this is the fruit salad one, which I believe I already have. And then this is the cat. I think this is from her newest collection that's coming up. I think she said that to me. I believe. But I don't know what this one smells like yet. Like what the exact description of it is. So I guess I'll jump into my overstock grab bag. So you get four of these random scents for like eleven dollars let's see overstock for 10.75 you get four of these and i think they're regular like 4.25 um per one yeah okay and she wrote me this really cute note that has all the descriptions so i'm gonna reference that up here so the first one is evie from the pokemon collection what? I missed the Pokemon collection? At least I think that's what it says. That's kind of sad that I missed the Pokemon collection, if there was one. So this one is Hazelnut Marshmallow, which is, smells awesome. And then we have Easter Basket, which is from the Easter collection. And this was Fruity Jelly Beans. Really cute toppings. And then we have the Fates, which I actually purchased this one before. This is Cinnamon Chip and Zucchini Bread, which is so good and then last but not least we have Marie from the Aristocats collection and this is just strawberry frosting so that's what that one looks like and then for the rest of my order let's see let me move this box out of the way because it's kind of obnoxious so um 
Does this not? This one's sold out. No, it's there. Okay, sorry. I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> so this is the Dole Whip one. It smells 100% exactly like Dole Whip, which is amazing. And this is just a sweet pineapple scent. Honestly, I might go back for more of these because it literally smells exactly like Dole Whip, like to a T. So there's that one. And then I ordered another one from the Pac-Man collection, which is called Clyde. I don't really know anything about Pac-Man to be honest, so. This is patchouli, lemongrass, and orange. I love these toppings, they're so fun. And then I have the cinnamon sugar donut one, which I'm assuming smells like cinnamon sugar donuts. Fun, and then I got the watermelon lemonade from the fruit stand collection as well, cause I thought my husband might like this one. Whenever I buy wax melts, I try to get some that my husband will like cause he's very picky about stuff so yeah um and then i got this one called inky also from the pac-man collection and this one smells like patchouli musk and clove that's what that one looks like and then lilo and stitch i got experiment 624 and this is pink lemonade this is a restock of one that i already melted so i know this one is the pink lemonade one which also smells exactly like pink lemonade. And then I have the Lilo one. I got two of these. And this one is cocoa, butter, tonka, and coconut. So that's what that one looks like. Oh no, I got one of them, sorry. And then I got almond, which looks like this. And then I got two more Scooby-Doo ones, so. Let me look up the Scooby-Doo collection. Scooby-Doo. So the Let's Split Up Gang smells like Rosemary, Mint, and Barber Shop. That's what that looks like. And then the Mystery Machine smells like laundry, pretty much. Um, clean linen and detergent. Yeah, so basically it smells like laundry. And my husband really likes this one, so I got that for him. And next, or la I guess last, we have the Charlie Brown collection. So I got four of those. So the first one is the trick or treat one, which is the toasted marshmallow, which I have um, a sample of that one. And then let's go into, where's the Charlie Brown one? What the heck, where is it? Hold on, sorry, Charlie Brown. Okay, so the Charlie Brown one is cinnamon, allspice, and caramel, and that's what it looks like. Look at this little ghost. That's adorable. So that's that one. And then I got two of the Flying Ace, which is pine, clove, and sage. So that's what that looks like. It's not, it smells just like Christmas, honestly. Like a Christmas tree. Oh, this is my favorite. I want like a hundred more of these. And then last but not least is the Lucy one. Oh my gosh, look at the little footballs. That's so cute. And this is hazelnut. Oh, didn't I get one that was hazelnut coffee? Or did I already go over that? No, that was hazelnut marshmallow. This is hazelnut coffee. Okay. It smells very much like coffee. Cool. All right. So that is it for my haul here. Thank you for sticking by me through this like hot mess of my wax melts and all that stuff. Um, it's a lot, so. But anyway, I am like dying under these studio lights right now. It's so hot. Thank you for stopping by if you made it to this portion of the haul. Totally check out Miranda's Melts if you have not already and you're into wax melts or want to try out a new shop because all of her stuff is amazing and she ships really quickly. I think her processing time is like, I don't know, like two to four business days or something like that. Um, her next release is on the 21st and it's a Coraline collection. So if you're interested in that, definitely follow her on Instagram as well. And follow me on Instagram as well too, cause why not? Um, but that is it for this haul. Like I said, don't forget to subscribe and like before you go. And thanks for stopping by and I'll see y'all later. Bye.